Hey, what's going on everyone? Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your supplemental video for lesson number 17, Syncing and Automation. We're going to go ahead and learn this in Pro Tools, so go ahead and get that fired up and we'll get started. Alright guys, so hopefully you have a Pro Tools session pulled up. If you don't have a Pro Tools session pulled up while you're watching this, don't worry. Just take plenty of notes and you'll go ahead and apply this as soon as you do. Alright, so let's first go ahead and talk about what automation is. What automation is, is it allows you to go ahead and automate your sound. Okay, so automatically set uh, any type of parameters or effects going on into your sound, into your track, without actually physically doing anything. It kind of automatically records your actions. That's what automation is. And it makes things uh, sound a lot better. It's uh, actually a fantastic use in recording engineering. So you definitely got to learn this. And especially, you got to learn in Pro Tools. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and audition a sound. Uh, it's just going to be a simple little bass line. We're going to hear how that sounds. And then we're going to go ahead and automate some effect with it, make it sound a bit better. So it's pretty basic stuff, uh, but that's the way a lot of songs actually start out. It's just like basic guitar or basic little bass line going on there. And then what actually makes the music sound better is they start automating effect like reverb or they start panning the guitar left and right or something like that. And that's what, you, what you're going to actually learn right now. Now automation is pretty interesting because there's different ways of automation. There's at least three ways that you could do it in Pro Tools. There's uh, And you can see these options right here. Okay, So you just go to the track that you're going to go ahead and use automation with and then take a look at the different types of automation. So the off feature would mean if there's something that was automated, you wouldn't read it, you, it wouldn't read that automation because it'd be off. Now if you automated something previously and you want to go ahead and listen to it over and over again uh, and even use that for your final product, you would go to read so it would actually read your automation. There's touch. Uh, that's a different type of uh, automation feature that you can go ahead and apply. Uh, w essentially what Touch does is as you're automating and you, the moment you let go of whatever parameter that you're actually manipulating, it'll spring back down to uh, pretty much zero. Uh, then you have Latch, which will uh, essentially if you move your parameter around, it'll actually just stay stay with whatever motions you're actually doing and then there's right where you can kind of like freehand right in your automations and I kinda of like right uh, a bit more too because it's it's really great for doing some precision uh, style automation as well so let's go ahead and first uh, check out touch and now we have a sound effect that we can go ahead and automate actually let's go ahead and take off uh, touch for right now and you, as you saw that light went off uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to hear how this sounds with uh, some effect, okay? So that's original sound, and this is with, with the effect. So it sounds a lot better. I mean, it's something that was basic, and and if, of course, the more you add on automation and effects and panning, it'll make your songs uh, sound a lot more interesting. That's your role as an engineer is to get something that sounds uh, good and just make it sound better. Uh, so let's go ahead and now uh, use automation to go ahead and automate some uh, effects to the signal. Go ahead and try that again. I had it on bypass, so that was not affecting anything. Okay, let's go ahead and give that another go. I'm go ahead and bring this down to zero. I don't want it to start off all full blast with uh, with this phaser effect yet. Okay, here we go. Cool. Now, as you saw, um, as I was moving it around and I would let go, it would just stay at zero and then I would bring it all the way up and then I'll let go and it went all the way back down to zero again pretty much automatically. Um, the moment that you lose uh, 
uh, contact with your parameter and you're adjusting it with your mouse, the moment that you let go of it, it'll just drop back down to zero. And that's basically what the touch feature is. Uh, it could be pretty handy with uh, you know various particular effects that you're uh, using uh, this, this feature with. Uh, there's a few other ones that you can go ahead and play around with. The next one that you have here, this is one I kind of uh, prefer a little bit more, kind of has more control, uh, is the uh, latch feature. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's pretend that we didn't like this right here, or maybe you did or maybe you didn't. Use the uh, selector tool to go ahead and delete any automation. Even if you just didn't like the end part, you could just delete that part. If you didn't like any of it at all, you can just go ahead and use your selector tool, select over that entire uh, area which you were using your automation in and just hit delete. Now it's gone. So now we're ready to go ahead and try out a different type of automation. So let's go back to our phaser. It's on bypass right now, but that, that's fine. Actually, it's not on bypass. It's, it's armed. It's ready. Okay, and you know it's ready once you see this little red light. So it's ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play and begin some automation. <laughs> So pretty cool. Uh, that that actually has a little bit better of a feel for me. Uh, I feel like I have a little bit more control uh, with my automation, and I definitely uh, recommend you know experimenting with this one a, a little bit more because I think you'll have a better uh, feel for your automation this way. So let's go ahead and uh, say we didn't like that and select all this area, hit delete, and let's go ahead and check out. Our other, I'm um, sorry, oops, uh, let's go ahead and check out our last feature that we have here for automation, which is writing. Uh, so you'll go ahead and select your pencil tool at this point, and then with this, all you got to do is just go ahead and select some points so you can begin your automation. It's pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and do this at every measure. It's a little bit easier to kind of mess around with. Now, once you select your automation points, you use your grabber, grabber tool, and then you can go ahead and grab the points and move them however you like. And as you can see, it kind of comes up with this little graphic and you can see exactly what you're doing. Let's say I want to, wanted to do that, so it's going to be very, very powerful, or actually gradually go up and then gradually come down. And let's say I wanted that to happen again, like that, and that's my desired effect. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play so we can hear how it sounds. <laughs> And as you can see, the mouse is automatically moving. And coming back down, then it's going to go up quick, quickly. Alright, cool. It sounds pretty nice, but let's go ahead and hear this track with a few more instruments in the mix. Drag your points in real time so you can hear exactly all the changes. Maybe this is too harsh to bring that down. So as you can see, using automation in a track will definitely add a lot more flavor to an ordinary track, especially one like that bass line. It's just a simple little bass line, but of course we use automation to kind of make it sound a little bit more special and a little bit more interesting. And this is exactly how you would do it in Pro Tools. Alright guys, that's all the lesson detail I have for you for right now, but of course there's plenty more videos coming along in the future, so look out for those. And remember to always try to find more information about your lessons online. And while you're online, don't forget to check out Music is My Oxygen for all the things that you care about in the world of music. And until next time, have fun, study hard, and keep your eyes on your goals. I'll catch you guys on the next video.